Recording. You've been good to yourself. <laughs> okay. Back. Uh, last video. I remember. I'm gonna share it with you. I got in a fight with a fucking cat in my backyard. Hear the story. So I, I get this house. Um, it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> I had to sell a lot of stuff. I had to pawn a lot of things. Every time I try to buy a house, or every time I get close, there's more money involved, more money involved. I, they don't tell you about that extra stuff. You gotta keep giving up more money, more money, more money. Um. Anyway, so I get this house, and it was hard. I got this house, and by myself, <laughs> no couple, by myself, and two kids, I got this house. So we move into this house and obviously there's a uh, resident or someone still living here in the backyard and it's a cat and this cat is pregnant and she, um, uh, shout out to Matt Plus 09 I'm not mad at you, dude, because you have a cat picture. I want to make sure you know that I'm not mad at you. It's just that you were chatting with me, and then I went outside, you know, to get my head straight. And there was a cat out there, the, the cat that lives here. And, and, and I don't want to hurt her. I mean, she back then she was pregnant, and, and she obviously got left behind. And she was starving. She had no no food, no water, and she's staying around the house. She's, she's dying, and, and she's gonna have babies. I don't like cats. I'm not gonna lie to you. I had a house before, um, wood floors, and, and I had to go over, uh, to an a, a archaeological school, um, major dig, they had to have me there, and I had my brother, hey, can you feed the cat, man? It's an outside cat, so just put the food outside, the cat was awesome, you know. I'm from the California Central Valley, we have outside cats. Cats eat rats, hate rats. So, they infest, so I, we always had outside cats. I mean, you live in the cities, everyone has inside cats. What the fuck, that thing's a natural animal. It wants to go out and hunt and fight, man. Get that cat out of the house. Stop clipping its claws, man. <laughs> so that's how I was raised, so I had an outside cat, and, and my brother, figured it'd be easier to put the cat in the house and just feed the cat in the house with the litter box and shit like that, but it was an outside cat, and it's not gonna do that, and so it marked the hardwood floors, they're expensive redwood, and you ever try to clean cat urine out of wood that has been there for like a month, all over the house for a month, and all the treasures that cat left for me? It's not his fault. <laughs> so, I put him back outside, he's happy. Yeah, he ran off, I mean, he was happy as hell. Um, probably thought he was gonna be put back in the house. I, so, I've always liked to have a hat, cat outside the house traditionally, you know, just farming. And we showed up and this cat was there and I was like, well, got an outside cat, man, for rodents, cool. Um, Made sure she was, I fed her, you know, uh, put food out for her every day. And she looked like she wouldn't eat it. I mean, she just run off, scared as hell, scared. I was like, you gotta eat, you know? And I kept bringing the food out all the time. And the cat was obviously a house cat that learned to sleep outside and it was scared, man. It was terrified. So, Again, long story short, um, this cat got better, and I would see her every once in a while, you know? I know she's doing her job, that's all I care about, and I put food out for her if she comes back, you know, and water, whatever I can give her, and she just kinda lives. Just <laughs> she got big and strong, she's a big cat now, and she just kinda cruises around, and I always take leftover junks and meats and stuff, you know? Throw them in a recycle and you can put meat in here now. Ah, hell, I, cats, man. I keep the cats, keep working. 
So I put the bowl out traditionally for the cat, and um, I guess it was eaten because hell, it big. And so we we never really we had that relationship where we never really she and I never really talked. We didn't, you know we had a relationship like you do your job, I do my job. You know, I'll bring you some meat, you just clean up around the house. And yesterday I went over to my garden and there, I had. The only thing that survived was tomatoes. And so I went and grabbed a tomato, and I'm, I love my tomatoes, man. It's the only thing that survived. I'm going to eat them tomatoes. <laughs> it produced for me, so I'm going to eat them potato and tomatoes. And, and so I'm eating um, the tomato. Even the potatoes died. I mean, everything died. It fucking the whole garden died. Um, the cabbage lived. Probably still living. It made it. Uh, so back to the story, I'm eating tomato, and, and there she is. She's just laying in the grass. She's just like looked at me and... I'm thinking she's gonna run away. I'm like, sorry, kitty. I'm gonna grab a tomato. I'll leave you alone. I know you like to have your space. I got a tomato, and she just licking herself, and she just looks at me, like, eh. Well, that's first. <laughs> so I sat down, and I'm eating my tomato. Uh, been out there for a while. Thicker skin out of. I just ate the inside. Uh, you know. And, and she comes around, and she's big now, and she just comes up and just lays there. And I'm eating my tomato. Hey, cat. And this time, she's not even leaving. She's just looking at me. Cool. All right. <laughs> There's the cherry on your uh, cake, skeptics. Anyway, so, yeah, I light it up. I'm listening to good music. I got a lot of mariachi. I like old mariachi. Don't hear it no more, but hoping it'll come on, but it won't. Um, listen to music.